All right, good morning. We'll go ahead and get ready to get started. As you come in, if you could um, mute your uh, audio, that way it's not disruptive for others in the virtual room, um, that would be wonderful. Um, and if you have any props at home, if you have large books that you would like to use as blocks, or if you have yoga blocks or a blanket to roll up, you can bring those. I'm going to do practice without them, so it's totally okay not to have props as well. Um, I'm Carolyn, and uh, welcome to my sun room. Feel free to look around. Hi, Carolyn. Hi there. Um, so I'm glad you all are joining me for this virtual yoga class today. Um, it's new to me, so hopefully you can hear me and everything looks okay. But I want to say I miss everybody. Um, this self-isolation and social distancing is hard. And um, I think it's only going to get harder as time goes on before it gets better. Um, so I'm so glad that virtual classes are an option for all of us. Um, but it's so necessary because we have to keep ourselves healthy and our community and our state, our country, our world healthy and safe. Um, so yeah, it's necessary. But it's also you know, increasing anxiety and worry and fear amongst us all. So today I'd like to dedicate um, or focus this practice on just noticing love. I think um, what we focus on expands in our life. And so if we can start to notice more love around us in ourselves and in our community, um, that we'll make more space for love and less space for fear and worry and anxiety. So yeah, noticing love. So to get started, I'd like us just to lay on our backs, on our mats, just flat. And maybe get your wiggles out before you close your eyes and find stillness. I'll meet you there in just a few moments. But I have a reading today from a friend of mine, Ashley. She posted on social media today, and I thought it was just beautiful. So just lay back, wiggles out, close your eyes. And maybe bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. And just start to slow your breath. And just begin to notice just the natural rhythm of your inhales and your exhales. Maybe notice as you inhale, your chest lifts, your belly lifts. And as you exhale, your belly softens, your chest softens as you release. Maybe notice your heartbeat with your left hand. And try here to drop down a level. We spend a lot of time in this level of busyness and getting things done and going and noticing. So maybe just try to drop down a level and slow down and notice what's there. Notice love. When you go out and see the empty streets, the empty stadiums, the empty train platforms, don't say to yourself, it looks like the end of the world. What you're seeing is love in action. What you're seeing in that negative space is how much we do care for each other, for our grandparents, for our immunocompromised brothers and sisters, for people we will never meet. People will lose jobs over this. Some will lose their businesses and some will lose their lives. All the more reason to take a moment when you're out on a walk or on your way to the store, or just watching the news, to look into the emptiness and marvel at all, all of that love. Let it fill you and sustain you. It isn't the end of the world. It's the most remarkable act of global solidarity we may ever experience. So notice all of that love. As we're here, just take a deep inhale through your nose 
Open your mouth, sigh it out, release, let go. And then one more breath like that, deep inhale. Open your mouth, sigh it out. And then bring your knees in towards your chest. And then wrap your arms around your shins or maybe hands just around the shins and gently pull your knees in towards your chest. If you have a space and you feel like moving your head up towards your knees, you can start to bring your forehead in towards your knees. If your head is lifted, slowly start to bring it back down to the mat. Take your hands on the top of your knees and just begin to make some circles with the knees. Starting to Create space in the lower back, massaging out your lower back. Go in one direction. And then when you're ready, go in the other direction. And then maybe here, start to link some movement with your breath, the breath and the movement. So inhale, press the knees away, and then exhale, bring them back in closer to your body. Inhale, knees away, exhale, your knees in closer to your body. And then coming back to stillness, knees in front of your chest, bring your hands out to T's or to goalposts on the mat. And then we'll start to do some supine hovers, starting to bring awareness to your core. So as you exhale, drop your knees to hover to the right. And then inhale, bring them back to center. And then exhale, drop your knees to hover to the left. And then inhale, back to center. Now starting to link your breath, your movement. As you exhale, hovering, and then inhale, coming back to center. And then maybe bringing attention to your core, making the breath secondary as you start to engage your abdominal muscles. Sinking into the core of who you are. The next time your knees come to the right, gently let them come all the way down to your mat for a gentle supine twist. Your gaze can stay neutral towards your ceiling or to the left. Just listen to your neck. On your inhale, bring your knees back to center, pausing there, letting your spine unravel. And then on your next exhale, let your knees fall to the left, all the way down to the mat. Gaze again, you can see neutral or look over to the right. And then on your inhale, come back to center. Again, pausing, just letting your spine unravel. And then wrapping the arms around your shins with your forehead up to meet your knees, tight, tight fall, squeezing all of your energy in, take a moment to love yourself, your mind and your body. Beautiful. And then it's okay on your spine to start to rock and roll up and down on your spine. We're gonna make our way into table. If you don't like to rock and roll on your spine, just turn to the side and walk your way up. So in table, Knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders, and we'll begin with your cat cow. So inhale, lifting the chest, your head, dropping your belly for cow, and then exhale, rounding through your spine, head starts to dangle between the arms. Inhale, lifting your chest, your head, dropping your belly, and then exhale, rounding through your spine, head between the arms. You can stay linear here with your cow and your cat. Or if you want a more organic movement, you can press ribs side to side, barrel rolls with the hips. You can tuck the toes, stretching out the feet. So make this yours. This is your practice. I'm just here to guide you.
And then coming back to neutral spine in your table, walk your hands forward for puppy. So your hands are going to start to come towards the top of your mat. Your chest and heart start to melt down towards the mat. Forehead finds the mat. Hips stay above the knees. If you have the space or you want to try something on, you can try to bring your chin to the mat. That might be another day. Another day for me. <laughs> Just finding your breath. Bring attention to your armpits, creating space in the armpits, the upper back, the arms. And we'll take a cleansing breath here. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And then open your mouth, sigh it out. And then come back to a sloppy child's pose. So just start to walk your way back. Your hips are going to melt towards your heels, stretching the arms forward towards the top of the mat. And just find some stillness here. Just checking in. If you Jai breath is in your practice, you can turn that on now. That's a deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose with a slight constriction in the back of the throat. It's an audible breath, creates heat in the practice and helps to guide you through your practice and helps to keep you focused. On your next inhale, come into your table and then exhale, tuck your toes, press back downward facing dog. So walk your dog here. It's the first one of this practice, bending one knee, bending the other knee. You can lift up high on the toes, stretching out the feet, maybe sway your hips side to side. And then checking in. So pressing down to the pads of the fingertips, taking pressure off your wrists, gaze between the thighs or your shins, elongating the back of the neck. Micro bend in the knees and the elbows, taking pressure off the joints. And then when you're ready, find stillness in your downward facing dog. And just three deep breaths here. On your next inhale, lift up high on your toes and then tippy toe your feet towards your hands, keeping your legs as straight as possible, pulling your belly button in towards your spine as you go. Halfway lift, flat back, and then exhale, fold. Ragdoll, spread your feet out wide on the mat, maybe hip width, maybe a little more. Bend your knees as much as feels good for your back. And then let, let your upper body hang heavy. You can grab opposite elbows with opposite hands. You can shake side to side, rock up and down. Maybe roll your neck around, release some tension in the back of your neck. Gently start to release your bind. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, root your feet down. Scoop your arms up, extend them out and stretch it up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes here. And maybe set an intention for your practice today. Or maybe a mantra for your practice. Maybe you want to notice you love or something else special to your heart this morning. Once you have your intention or your mantra, take a deep inhale through your nose, feel it in close to your heart, and then open your mouth, sigh it out, and let it go into the universe. Ah. Fluttering eyes open, inhale arms overhead, extend the mountain, stretch it up, and then exhale, hinge and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, and then 
Hands down, step your right foot back for a low runner's lunge. So in this low runner's lunge, we'll keep the back knee lifted, the back toes tucked. Your hip is pointing slightly down and forward, creating some space. Easy twist, right hand comes down, left arm peels up. Coming back to your low runner's lunge, left hand down, step back, high plank. So as we move today, you're gonna to have some optional chaturangas that you can take how you feel fit. That might be high plank to low plank, that might be dropping knees down, that might be pressing back to down with facing dog and skipping them all together. So for the first one here in high plank, puff up through your shoulder blades, pull your belly button in towards your center. As you exhale, lower your knees, chest, chin, all the way down to the mat, and then inhale for cobra. Exhale, lower, tucking toes, press back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee, sending the heel towards your sit bones. You can make some circles with the knee. You can make some circles with the ankle. And then coming back to three point square off your hips, step your left foot forward for your low runner's lunge. This time, drop your back knee and tuck your back toes. You can keep your hands planted on the mat, lock your books, or you can extend arms overhead. Gaze is forward, taking pressure off your neck. If you want a little bit of a challenge here, you can bend the back knee and reach around with one hand, maybe two hands, opening up your heart space. Again, everything's optional. Do what feels good for your body today and in your practice. If you have a bind holding your foot in the back, gently release the back foot, hands come down, Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step forward, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, rise up, extend the mountain, stretch it up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Ah. I'm gonna fix my clothes here. Genevieve always says, don't wiggle. All right, I'm not wiggling. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, sit down into your chair. So in chair here, you want the weight into your heels. You want to be able to see your toes and wiggle your toes. Arms are outstretched towards the ceiling or maybe they come to heart center. We're gonna move a little bit. So inhale here in your chair and then exhale, wide arm twist, open to the right. Inhale, come back to your chair. And then exhale, wide arms open to the left. Inhale, back to chair. One more time, exhale, open up to the right. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale, wide arm open, twist to the left. Inhale, come back around chair. Exhale here. Inhale, one more time. Oh boy, exhale, let that go. Let it go. Ah. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And then as you exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back for your low runner's lunge. Leaving the back knee lifted. Easy twist. Left hand down, right arm heels open. Finding the breath here. Beautiful. Coming back to your low runner's lunge. Step back, high plank. And then decide if you'd like to take a chaturanga here or if you would like to skip it or bring down the knees. So high plank, exhale, low plank, upward facing dog or cobra, and then exhale, down dog. Cleansing breath here, deep inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let some heat go. Let some of that fear, that anxiety, that worry, 
go. As you inhale, lifting the right leg up, exhale, bend the knees and your heel towards your sit bones. Maybe making those circles. Maybe making circles with the ankle. Coming back to three point, leveling off the hips. And then exhale, stepping the right foot towards your hands, low runner's lunge, dropping the back knee, untucking the back toes. Staying here with hands grounded or coming to your thigh or overhead. If you wanna play with that, lifting the back leg, you can lift the back foot, reach around with maybe one hand, maybe two hands. Beautiful, if you have a bind on the back foot, slowly start to release the bind. Both hands come down, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee, step forward, and then exhale, fold, release. We'll hang here for a little bit. So maybe bend the knees, maybe grab opposite elbows for ragdoll again. Just kind of release here. And take cleansing breaths as you need them to release some of the heat and energy that's moving around in the body. If you have a bind, slowly release the bind, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and then inhale, rise up, extend the mountain, stretch it up, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Take a moment here just to be grateful. Grateful for your feet, your body, strong and steady, healthy. Inhale, arms overhead, stretch it up, and then exhale, sit down into your chair. Again, bringing the weight into the heels, wiggling the toes, maybe go a little deeper this time, maybe not. We're gonna move a little differently this time. We're gonna come into stork, so bring the weight to your left foot. Inhale, right knee towards your chest. Exhale, chair. Inhale, stork, left knee to your chest. Exhale, chair. One more time. Inhale, right knee comes up, restore. Exhale, chair. Inhale, left knee comes up. Exhale, chair. Inhale here. And then exhale, hinge and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank. And then choose to flow or down dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Cleansing breath, deep inhale. Open that side out. Warrior two on the right. Right leg lifts, inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot towards your hands. Back foot pivots 90 degrees. Arms come up to a T. So check in here, get the foundation in the legs first. There's no rush to get anywhere. So root down to the blade of the back foot. Front knee tracking over the last toes on the front foot. Gaze over your front middle finger. Your warrior for love. Warrior for love, strong, steady, noticing love around you. Peaceful warrior, flip your front palm. Inhale, scoops you up. And back. Left arm can dangle, can reach around for a half bind. Gaze can be up, it can be down. Coming back, warrior two, pause here. Side angle or modified. So forearm can come down to your thigh, left arm towards the ceiling or outstretched overhead. Or your right hand can come down to the mat, half bind. Full bind, wrapping fingers underneath. Finding the breath here, breathing through the pressure in the legs, strong. 
If you have a bind, start to release your bind. Come back to your warrior two, pausing here, and then high crescent. So we're gonna shift our toes facing the front of the mat, high in the ball of the back foot. Arms come up. So I like to press my hip tips slightly forward and pull my belly button in, helps engage my back leg. High crescent. Crescent twist, bring hands to heart center, inhale here, and then exhale, twist to the right. You can hook your left elbow across your right thigh. And you have a lot of options here. So hands can stay planted together at heart center. You can open your palms. You can half bind, bring the right hand behind or full bind, grabbing fingertips underneath your thigh. Steady in the breath. If arms, palms are open, bring them back to heart center. We're moving into chair twist. So start to bring your left foot up to meet the right chair twist. If you fall out, who cares? Just get back in it. Notice the pressure. You're moving energy around. We're getting rid of fear, anxiety. We're creating space for love in the body. Finding focus here in the practice. Inhale, come up to your chair. And then exhale, release. Oh boy, let it go. Spread your feet out wide on the mat. About mat width distance. Bend your knees, peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. Elbows out east and west, scooping your belly. Make this an active fold. Finding your exhales here, slowing your heart rate down. Starting to release your bind, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold, and then root your feet down, scoop up, extend the mountain, exhale, hands to heart center. Noticing love, I notice love. So we have to go backwards the way we got here. So bringing your feet back together, inhale, arms overhead, and then exhale, sit down into your chair. I think this is the last chair. You're welcome. <laughs> Bring hands to heart center, chair twist. So inhale here, and then exhale, twist to the left, hooking your right elbow across your left thigh. Scooping your belly in your twist, trying to breathe as deeply as possible. Crescent twist, bring the weight into your left foot and then slowly start to step the right foot back, wiggling your right foot back. High in the ball of the back foot and then choosing to keep hands and heart center, maybe opening the palms, maybe a half bind, maybe your full bind. If palms are apart, slowly start to bring them together. We're coming up for high crescent. Arrive there. Hip tips forward, belly button in, engaging the back leg. And then open up to warrior two. Back foot pivots to 90 degrees, arms come out to a T. Again, check in, move down to the blade of that back foot, front knee tracking over the last toes. Gaze over your front middle finger. A warrior of love. Steady, strong. Peaceful warrior, flip your front palm. Inhale, scoops you up and back. Coming back to your warrior two, pausing here. 
Side angle or modify your forearm to your thigh. Right arm towards the ceiling or outstretched overhead. Again, you can bring down your hand to the mat or to a book or block. Half bind, bring the right hand behind, left arm underneath. Full bind. Steadying the breath, feeling your own strength. Ooh, yeah. All right, hands come down, low runners lunge, step back, high plank. Take a slow, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, exhale, down dog. Child's pose, yes. Knees out wide, big toes touch, forehead finds the mat, maybe grab some water. Cleansing breath if you need it. <sighs> Start to slow your heart rate, finding equanimity in the breath. Telling yourself that you are strong and capable, even in these hard times. Even in this hard yoga practice, you can do this. You got this. We've got this, our community's got this. Coming back to your table on your inhale, tucking your toes, press back, downward facing dog. So right leg lifts in your inhale, exhale, bend your knee, yawn your hip. So you can flip your dog here if that's in your practice or something you wanna play with today. Bringing your right foot around and then lifting your hips and chest towards the ceiling. Finding grace and beauty here, offering the front of your heart, place where you give love. Beautiful. Coming back around to three point, right foot up and back. And then exhale, knee to nose for cheetah. Pull your belly button in, rounding through your spine. From your cheetah, step your right foot towards your hands. We're coming up for warrior one. So pivot the back foot to 45 degrees. And then your inhale lifts you up. Warrior one, you want your chest going towards the front of the mat. Your hips will follow in line. Rooting down to the blade of the back foot. Humble warrior, clasp your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders back. And then as you exhale, scoop your belly, tuck your chin, and fold on the inside of your right leg or hover above your thigh. Your arms can dangle where they go. You're opening up the back of your heart, the place where you receive love. Steady in your breath, strong and steady, but humble, humble warrior. We're moving into triangle from here. So as you inhale and start to come up, start to straighten your front leg. Pivot your back foot to more than 90 degrees. And then as you exhale, start to hinge forward for your triangle. So keep a micro bend in your right knee. Your right hand can stay on your shin. You can come down to a book or a block, the mat. If you want more here, you can extend your arms out if you're holding a beach ball or extend the right arm out in front if you want more core strength. Gaze can be up, it can be down. Grounding your feet, the earth is supporting you. 
release into that. Twisted Kundalini. So bring your gaze down to the front of your front foot. Left hand comes down about 10 inches away from your right foot. Your left knee comes into the back of your right knee. So both knees are bent, left heel in towards your sit bones, and then peel your right arm open. Twisted Kundalini. Standing split, right hand comes down, start to straighten your right leg as your left leg moves up towards the ceiling. Handstand kickups, if that's something you want to play with. I can't because I'll knock down all my flowers. <laughs> so if you're in standing split, you can practice balancing here by holding on to your calf muscle or your ankle with your right hand and then maybe your left. Or just stay grounded. On your next inhale, halfway lift. And then cross your left foot behind your right. So your legs are crossed. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. Hands come to your hips. Exhale here. And then inhale using core strength, rise up. Extend it on, stretching your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Ha. I notice love. So eagle from here, your legs are already crossed. I'll turn this way, but you stay facing the front of the mat. Arms can come out to a T, bend your left knee, wrap the right around maybe once, you can kickstand, or all the way around. Right arm comes underneath left. You can sit down like you're sitting into a chair. You can pull your elbows away from your body. Open up the upper back. If you want extra, you can hinge forward, elbows toward your knees. Embrace your wobbles. You have to hop, you know, hop an eagle. All right, we're gonna to start to unravel out of your eagle. So as you start to unravel, arms come out, knee comes in towards your chest or stork. Stay with me here. Warrior three. So start to hinge forward, sitting your right leg behind. Arms can stay outstretched or come to heart center or airplane arms, or they can ground. What do you need? Do you want balance or do you want security and grounding? Coming into a low runner's lunge, bending your left knee, hands come down, step the right foot back, three point, left foot up and back. Bend your knee on your hip. Flip your dog if that's something you did on the other side. Bringing the left foot around, hips up towards the ceiling. Coming back to your three point, left foot, left hand comes back around, left foot up. Exhale, knee and nose for cheetah, rounding through your spine. Warrior one, step your left foot towards your hands. Back foot 45 degrees. The inhale lifts you up. And again, chest towards the front of the room. Hips will follow. Making the back leg part of the asana, rooting down through the blade of the back foot. Humble warrior, clasp your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders back, opening the front of your heart. And then exhale, tuck your chin, scoop your belly. Hinge and fold on the inside of your left leg or hover above your thigh. Steady in the breath here. Strengthen your foundation by offering your heart, humble warrior.
Trikonasana from here, triangle. So as you start to come up slowly, straighten your front leg. Back foot pivots to more of a 90 degrees and then come on down to your triangle. So left hand to your thigh, or not your thigh, your shin. Block, hook, mat. Core strength, you can extend the arms out. Triangle is a great asana to reduce anxiety, nervousness. We should all be doing these like all day long right now. My husband's like, what are you doing? Trying well. Twisted Kundalini. Bring your drishti, your gaze down to your front toes. Right hand comes down about 10 inches away from your left foot. Left knee bent, right knee behind. Inhale, left arm lifts. Twisted Kundalini. Standing split, left hand comes down, start to straighten your left leg, right leg extends towards the ceiling. Handstand kickups are a nice option here. You can also work on balance by holding on to your left ankle, one hand, both hands, no hands. Or just stay grounded. Halfway lift on your inhale, right leg comes behind your left or cross leg stance, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to your hips, exhale here, and then inhale, come all the way up. Extend and mount and stretch it up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. I am love, I notice love. Eagle from here. So bring the weight to your right leg. Maybe arm come out to a T to help with balance. Left comes around once. Maybe kick stands, maybe wraps all the way around. Left arm comes underneath right. And then do what you do here. Maybe that's just finding stillness. Maybe that's hinging forward, elbows to knees. Maybe you're already in Shavasana. I don't know. I was laughing with Patty earlier because we were talking about how virtual classes are different, but they're good because you can wear whatever you want or you can pass gas and nobody knows. And so we're getting check a lot of that. It's true though. Starting to come out of your eagle, unravel the legs, arms come out, come into your stork, left knee in towards your chest. So warrior three, start to kick the left foot back as you hinge forward. And then maybe arms are outstretched, maybe heart center, maybe airplane. Steady gaze. Beautiful. Both hands come down, low runner's lunge, step back, high plank, and then decide to flow or we'll meet in downward facing dog. Ooh, cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, side out. Beautiful. Now lift up high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. And we're going to step or hop to Malasana Yogi Squat. So in Yogi Squat, you want your toes slightly out, heels slightly in. Hands come to heart center. Elbows are pressing against your knees. So stay here and ground your feet for crow or handstand kickups. So if you're working on arm balance, Crow might be a nice option. You can bring the hands down, knees in towards your upper arms, and you can stay here. You can lift one foot, maybe lift the other foot.
And then coming out of your curl, if you're in a curl, back to Malasana and Yogi Squat. Hands are in heart center. I notice love. A warrior for love. Bring your hands behind. We're going to come to a seated position for a bent knee boat. So bent knee boat, you want your body more in a V shape rather than a U shape. So you've got to hold on to the back of the thighs. Arms outstretch. If this is an old trick for you, maybe straighten the legs, head in line with your toes. We're going to move a little bit, finding our core of who we are, strengthen our core. Come down to canoe, hands and heart center, flutter kicks for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Come back up to your bent knee boat. Come down to your half boat canoe. Row your boat for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy. Feet come down, hands behind, lift the hips. Reverse table, ah. stretch out the abdominals. <sighs> Hips come down, extend both legs out long, seated forward fold. Pull your feathers out and back. Inhale, arms overhead, and then exhale, tuck your chin and fold. Bending your knees as much as you want to here. And your next inhale, slowly coming back up. Bending your knees, both the feet find the mat. Hands come behind, just windshield show wipe your knees side to side. And then we'll lower all the way down to your spines. Extend both legs long, arms overhead, full body stretch, and let your body be heavy. Just take a rest. Hmm. Let the ground support you. Notice where your body meets the ground. So back bend of choice. There's bridge, wheel, camel, if you want to get back up. So for bridge, bending your knees, close the feet, find the mat. You can lift your hips up one vertebrae at a time. You can take a bind underneath your hips or hands can come by your side. Five yogi breaths, if that's what you choose. Wheel, hands come by your ears. We inhale, lift you up. And five yogi breaths, you can come up on your toes. So back bends are so good at releasing the stagnant stored energy that we keep and hold on to in our lower back and our hips. It creates space for new fresh energy. And right now, I think we need that so much with the focus on love and releasing that anxiety and worry that we're holding on to in our bodies. So as you come down, lower down one vertebrae at a time, Supta Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet meet Knees go out wide for reclined butterfly. Come back to your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. And notice your breath. Notice your heartbeat. And drop down a level. That level underneath all the busy, all the doing, that level, drop down. Uh, 
As you're here, take a moment for your gratitude practice. Think of three things that you're so grateful for. Especially now, in this time, finding gratitude is so important. Once you have those three things in focus, take a deep inhale through your nose, seal them in close to your heart, and then open your mouth, sigh them out, let them go, share your gratitude. Using your hands, press your knees in together, and we're gonna set up for one more back bend of choice. So bridge, wheel, camel. Bridge, lifting the hips up one vertebrae at a time. Wheel, hands by the ears. Hoisting your way up on your inhale. Five yogi breaths. Bringing attention to space that you're creating. Fresh space for fresh energy, love. And starting to lower down when you're ready, one vertebrae at a time. Bringing your knees together, feet out wide, and press your lower back into the mat. Just release your lower back. Both hands to your belly. Taking time here just to be grateful for your strength, your body. Happy baby. So bringing the knees in towards your armpits, maybe holding on to the shins or holding on to the outer blades of your feet, pulling your knees in towards your armpits. You can rock side to side. You can straighten one leg, straighten the other leg, or maybe stillness feels better. From here, recline figure four. So bring the left sole of the foot to find the mat. Cross your right foot ankle across your left thigh and gently press your right knee away from your body, just squaring off your hips. And then stay here, or if you want, lift your, your legs in towards your chest. You can hold on to the back of your left thigh. You can hold on to your left shin. The recline figure four, recline pigeon, I guess. If you want your normal half pigeon from your belly, feel free to take that. If you're in recline figure four, and you want a little more, you can do cow face legs, bringing the knees together, holding on to the outer edge of the feet and pulling your feet in towards your body. Going back to your recline, Figure four, dropping your left sole of the foot to the mat. So a supine twist, you can keep the legs the way they are and let the legs fall to the left so your right sole of the foot finds the mat. If that's a no-go for you, you can just bring your knees together or maybe eagle legs. So supine twist, knees are going to the left, gaze is neutral or to the right.
then coming back around, bringing knees back to center. Full body stretch, just letting your spine recenter, stretching it all out. Maybe making circles with the ankles, making circles with the wrists. And then moving on to the other side. So right sole of the foot finds the mat. And then left ankle comes across your right thigh. Pausing here, pressing your left knee away from your body. Just leveling the hips. And then staying here or bring your legs in towards your chest, holding on to the back of your right thigh, your shin. Ooh, and maybe noticing how one side might be tighter than the other, like my left side. Wow. Always amazes me. Same body, different sides, different feel. And staying here, or if you want more, you can bring the knees together, holding them to the outer blades of the feet, pulling the feet in towards your body. And starting to come out of your figure four, bringing your right sole of the foot back to the mat. And then keeping legs the way they are, you can drop your legs to the right so your left sole of the foot finds the mat for your supine twist. Again, if you do not like this, you can bring your knees together or eagle legs and gaze can be over your left shoulder. Supine twist. Twisting from the middle of the spine, bringing attention to your left shoulder, melting away from your knees. Slowly coming out of your supine twist. Again, a full body stretch. So stretching the legs long, arms overhead, just clearing the canvas. Full body stretch. And then setting up for the inversion of your choice. So that might be waterfall. Legs up towards the ceiling. Legs up the wall might be a nice option if you want to take yourself to a wall. Dead bug, arms can join the legs. There's also shoulder stand, head stands, hand stands by the wall. Supported waterfall, you can take a book block bolster underneath your hips and lift them up. So an inversion, such an important asana for the body. We are countering all the sitting and standing that we do all day long. So you're letting the blood trickle back down to the body, towards the heart. Wherever you are in your inversion, bring attention to your belly. Soften your belly. Softening your belly and your inversion allows for your organs to kind of float up towards your ribs in an inverted position. Helps with digestion. I like dead bugs because of the name.
slowly starting to come out of your inversion, just lowering your legs down to the mat. If you'd like to counter your inversion, supported fish is a nice option. So you can lift up, prop yourself up on your forearms, hands come towards your lower back, and then you can lower your head, opening up your throat, your heart, your chest. And then to come out of uh, supported fish, bring your chin towards your chest, and then lower all the way down to your mat. We'll set up for Shavasana now. Just time of rest. You've done the work, expelled the energy, created new energy space for noticing love, releasing anxiety and worry. Let your legs go long, spread your feet out wide, Opening your chest, your heart space. Palms up for receiving, palms down for grounding. And we'll just take two cleansing breaths here to settle into Shavasana. So deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth side out. <sighs> One more like that, deep inhale. Open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> Shavasana, rest. Gently bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Just 
Notice your heartbeat. Notice your breath. Notice love. Really start to deepen your breath, deepen your inhales, lengthen your exhales. Bring some movement back to the body, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, rock your head side to side. And just take a big stretch overhead. And then gently make your way to your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. And just take a moment here to open up love and gratitude at your heart center. to feel refreshed, renewed for the rest of the day ahead. And then gently make your way to easy seat. We'll meet facing one another, hands at heart center, eyes closed. Take a slight bow of your head, chin towards your chest, towards your heart. Thank you for joining me this morning with your yoga practice and allowing me to guide you through your yoga practice. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within guide your way. Namaste. Thank you, Carolyn. Welcome everyone, have a wonderful day today. Thank you. And let me know if you have any feedback. It's always welcomed. Love you. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Love you. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Michelle. Hey, hey. Jen. Hey, hey guys. I don't know how to turn this hey. thing. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. Who is that? Unmute. Hey, Jen Sherry. is there. <laughs> Patty's there. Hey. We here. I don't know you guys. The dog. Hey, Genevieve, die. that's my sister, JJ. Hey, JJ. Where are you from? Uh, I'm in New York. I'm in upstate New York right now. I'm from the city, but we escaped. Yes. Good. I saw you do it. I was like, she has such an Instagram little setup there with uh, the lawn chair. And then you were doing headstands. I was like, oh my God, she's amazing. <laughs> I like um, the tranquility of uh, Carolyn's setup. We got some water back there. I was like, man, this is cool. We all get to see where we live. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's oh, Stella's lounger. That's like a, you know, an essential my aunt sent us. <laughs> That's amazing. That's great. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you guys. And I do love that this is bringing um, like Oops. New York and Australia and we've got people in Germany practicing. So now iShine's able to get everywhere. So it's really cool. so nice. Thank <laughs> yeah. you guys. My pleasure. Have a good class. Um, Carolyn's going to be doing more and check the YouTube channel too. If you guys are missing live classes, if you're not able to do them, the channel will be there for a while. Um, so that's not going anywhere. So, Genevieve, thank you so much for allowing thank us to you. continue practicing. It means a lot. Well, thanks to Carolyn. I saw the spreadsheet in 12 hours after Kesley put it together, all these names for the first week and two weeks. And I thought, this team is so inspiring. And you guys show up to class. We just practiced with, I think, about 20 people with you, Carolyn. And it's like, um, honestly, I'm practicing more than I have ever, I think, because I can do it now. <laughs> Um, but it's also like, just, I think I am appreciating yoga more than my entire life of it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for my reason to do it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thanks guys. Oh, Have a good day. Day. Oh, oh, good. I'm like, yay. <laughs> Bye y'all. Have a good Saturday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, how do I do this?